Hello YouTube, that's what Brad said here, and today I'm going to show you a little something I made and would like to show off. But first of all, here's a little something on growth, it'll make a bit more sense later. Um, this is regular growth, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is a more exponential growth, 1, 2, 4, um, 8, 16, and this is triple growth, 1, 3, 9, 27, um, oops, don't show that off, 81, I've been very careful. Now that'll matter because of this. I'm trying to be really like smooth about this, and sound isn't needed for this video. This is what is known as a Menger sponge. I'll link to its Wikipedia down below, it's a very interesting read if you're into like nerdy shapes and stuff. If you liked Seth Bling's video on fractals, you'll quite like this. And this is a... Let's start with this, this little white one. This is a stage one menstrual sponge. Oh, hello, testificate. You probably worked out what I'm hiding. <laughs> okay. Um, this is a stage one menstrual sponge. It takes 20 blocks to make in Minecraft. And you'll make it like this. Uh, this is just a simple way of making it. I'll explain why in a minute. There, that's a stage one menstrual sponge. Let's have a bunch of blocks. Uh, you. And the reason it exists the way it is is, if you get a three by three cube, like this, and what you need to do is you need to punch out all of the centery holes, and you get menstrual sponge level one. And I'm not going to go into detail because I really don't want to bore you, but. This is a stage, the pink one is a stage 2 menstrual sponge with how they're linked just sort of carved out of it. Um, and it's basically like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 10. It's 20, I should have known that, it's 20 of these little things all stacked together in a sort of frame almost. Like if you imagined that was one shape it would be a frame of them, leaving like an even bigger hole in the centre like this. And you can go up again exponentially, which is why I talked about growth earlier over there, to get a stage 3 menstrual sponge, which is this lime monster which exists right here. There's regular 3x3 three three tunnels, but there is also, uh, here it is, a 6x6, six six, not 6x6, six 9x9 six, nine nine tunnel, uh, daytime, which also exists. Is it weather? No, hang on. Um, and this is a stage 3. And there is also, made from this orange colossal thing, a stage 4. You've probably worked out what I've been hiding and deliberately trying not to show. But this is a 27 by 27 gap. And this really just is basically the essence of the Menger sponge. You can just keep going on for an infinite amount of length. In Minecraft you can't because you've got build height and block size to work with, but... With mods, you could theoretically get infinite. Oh, crap. <laughs> and now is for a thing that I you probably have been wanting me to show you. Uh, I'll just buff the render distance up a bit and turn sound back on. It's weird. Not extreme. But far. This is a stage 5 menger sponge. Attempting to load. This is... I'm surprised I'm getting this much FPS, because when I was walking around it early, I was going down to like 11 FPS. I'm down to 30 at the moment. But this is as big as you can get in Minecraft. This is a stage 5 measure sponge. I don't know how it's pronounced properly, but that's measure. I just like pronouncing it. And the... Let's think of it this way. Uh, turn the fly off. There is a 20 block, um, there. I'm starting to get the FPS lag now. There, right there, there is a nice stage 1 menger cube just carved out, because I've got 20 pieces. And then, fly 5, there is a stage 2 menger sponge right here. And a stage 3 menger sponge right here. And a stage 4 which is really starting to lag my computer. Uh, and the colossal stage 5 menger sponge. 
This hole is 81 by 81 blocks. And, wow, I'm surprised I can cope right now. And it is... If you took it as a solid cube, it would be approximately... I think 243 is the number I made it out to be, but it's 81 times 3. By 81 times 3, by 81 times 3. That is 243 by 243 by 243. And let me just open up my calculator. I make that as a total volume of... 14,348,907 blocks, which doesn't add up in my books, but we'll work with it. That is the volume of this colossal cube. Not how many blocks there are in it, just the volume. Uh, I I'm, I'm, think I'm actually, while this is uploading, I'm going to attempt to work out how many blocks are actually in it, and put it in the description, so... If the first thing in the description is a bunch of random numbers, you know what that means. I'm getting 6 FPS from this. So, this is the Measure Sponge. A very cool thing I created with a uh, shout out to Wee Weirdo for giving me the idea. This took me about you know, 3 minutes in MC Edit. Main that making it wasn't the problem. MC Edit rendering it was the problem. MC Edit crashed twice while making this. This is and I have a really bulky machine, so this is insane. I want to make a custom map out of it, like, maybe like a sky grid style of one, but out of, maybe like the measure grid, or something like, I don't know, I'll, I'll roll with that idea, see what happens, if you see a custom map from me in the future that's called the measure grid, you know what it's from. <laughs> this is ins I want to burn it now, but I'm not going to, I'll, I think I might set up a world download. And you can download it and burn it if you want to. But warning, I have a very bulky machine and I'm getting FPS lag. So, <laughs> good luck with that. Anyway, hope this has been a nice change of pace. <laughs> I'm a bit speechless. That's what Brad said. Signing out.